Hey, what's going on you guys? Spartan here, but of course y'all already knew that. Welcome to a little video. I'm going to be showing you guys how I model what I usually, what I know of how to model and the program I use and a lot of other things in this video. I don't know how long it's going to be, but it won't be long because a lot of people don't know how to start really modeling or they want to just use block bench because if you go straight to tabula it is sometimes stressful so let's go right into what block bench is block bench is basically a modeling program that you can replace blocks and items with such as diamond hose or diamond blocks with retextured like uh this omnitrix or these guys that have replaced in a texture pack um stuff like that um what i'm going to do is show you guys what exactly what I know how to do because um, I'm still learning the ropes still so let's go ahead and get right into it we're gonna open up block bench first um, so here is basically your template and we have import texture create your own texture reload textures move resize paintbrush vertex snap clone brush view transform edit file all that jazz add cube stuff like that display um, what I'm gonna show you is a few tricks that I know so we're gonna add a cube and basically you know how y'all can hold left click to go into the block stock parts but say you don't want to actually do all that so what we're gonna do is you're gonna hold control and shift because shift will do this but control and shift you can do it better like you can see it's like whoop that's perfect you can also do that with going around going like this stuff like that so I'm going to load a model that I have created and I'll be right back. Alright guys, I am back with the model I have created today. Uh, it's the prototype suit of The Flash Season 1 of where he first they first figure out what his speed is. 300 miles per hour uh, over that. And um, I've created this. It, didn't, it took me about an hour, two hours, but that's because I'm not rushing. It's just time. But uh, this is what I came out with. And uh, it actually looks pretty good. A lot of people gave me such suggestions. Uh, some of them were like bad because I can't really add. I can add abs, but I can't really add biceps in here because it's a Minecraft character. But I've added a watch with like it's showing like the minutes. It's basically 12. No, if 12 is here, one, two, three, about five o'clock, basically. I don't know, but I just, I just, it's not. It's just there. Uh, but we have some details, chin strap, his little helmet with the little first edition communication. I know I have to fix up some of the heads, but other than that, this looks really good. Of course, I got to fix this. It's still work in progress. But anyway, uh, literally, this is all by with creating groups and stuff like that because uh, I like to take it out of time. Um, all right, here we go. So you take a cube, right? Uh, and usually when you're new you go up here and just click it that's too much work you would basically press spacebar and you could do it that way that's easier um, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys how to actually bend them and stuff like that so say that this is a neck and it's just two squares so let's make it like about mm, mm, that big so to do that you just do control shift like I said and hold left click and stuff like that and then you press spacebar if you want to move it control shift to find out where you want to put it so then you to can duplicate it you can either go over here and press duplicate or you can just click on the block you want control D to duplicate it so then drag it out and then here is your X Y axis so the X axis turns it like this forward and back uh, Y does it side to side and Z does this the diagonal V so a uh, friend is trying to make a model and say you wanted to give him an actual crooked neck or something because he's got that kind of thing so you would line it up kind of ish and if you needed to you could just boop, like that so then say you want to add it to the other side we'll do a control D on that piece that you want go to transform go to rotate or flip and click flip to X Y or Z depending on where you want it and then you just line it up I mean, I know there's an easier way, but this is how I know. So that's how you can do that. Uh, I made a ring, and uh, of course there are uh, plugins. Uh, like, so let me just uh, let me show you guys. So there's a plug. There's plugins in here. So you would go to File Plugins, and here they are. Here's available, and then here's your installed. I'd recommend getting the Player Model Generator, the Shape Generator, and that's pretty much all you really really need for now 
uh, well, Clone Brush is actually a plugin. And what you would do is, after the plugins are installed, you X out of it and come right back in, and it'll be, and your stuff will be there. And what basically each one that I said does, so say we go to plugin and we want to create a model. So I created a model, and you can get rid of something, uh, the second layers, and then press uh, le uh, left click on one of the pieces and hold shift and left click, and then click add to group, and then you can call it whatever, do double clicking. Uh, stuff like that and then that will be able to move the whole model like this you could add your skin to it but uh, that that's that's boring but um the what the plugin what the other plugin like the generate shape you could do hexa hexa deca hexa deca con I think so or an octagon you can have it hollow or fill filled you can set the value of basically how I believe big it is uh, so like like that and then you can just rotate it and like do this, like you rotate it, you do that, and then rotate it like that. And then this is basically what can get close to being a circle. Um, so there's that. And that's pretty much all I would have to show you. Now, a lot of people were like, how do I get the textures? And when you go to import texture, choose the texture you want. I'm just gonna use my skin for now. And if it's on, like if you click this and then you click import texture, it would apply the whole texture um, to it. And then you can model, say like a mask off of that or uh, pieces of a chest, stuff like that. But uh, I hope you guys did enjoy this quick little tutorial of basically of what I know so far. I know I probably left out a lot of stuff. Um, also, to you want to file, you have to save, do a control S if you haven't just saved, and then name it whatever you want. It'll be in a JSON model for now. Uh, you can do a control shift S to rename it to something else if you want. Like, say you wanted just this, and then you want to model off of this later. Do a control shift S to rename it to something else instead of control S. Because then that way you can name it whatever else you want later on with the control shift S. Uh, you can export the block model like this, which is basically the same thing as control S, but you would export it if you want someone else to finish it if you want. But then you would have to send them the textures. But the textures are a 64 by 64. Uh, there are programs like Photoshop, stuff like that you can do along the way. But other than that, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Be sure to leave a like. Um, comment if this was helpful or not. I know I left a lot of stuff out. I know I'm probably going to get a lot of dislikes, but it, it's fine. Um, I'm just helping out people, but uh, you can also change how you want over here and then apply to all sides and then it'll become that color. Just be careful though, because a lot of things you don't want to change. But anyway guys, peace.